And now I'm going to show you how to find um, how to use the IC, uh, IUCN red list of threatened and endangered species using some of the same information we just got from the ECOS website. So I'm going to put in the prairie chicken that we just found, the Atwater's prairie chicken, and see if I find anything using that whole name. I'm going to search. I need to give it a minute, see if anything comes up. It says the geographical scope is global. And I know I don't really need global because I know this is only in uh, Texas in the Southwest. So I'm going to keep looking and just wait a minute. And it says results are zero. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to get it, uh, find out what it's actual, this one, the Timpan, I'm going to grab this name, Timpanicus Cupido Atwater. Okay. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to get a, I'm going to get rid of the Atwater. I'm just going to see if there's just the greater prairie chicken. Oh, look at, there it is. It actually, so we see that this is a species that's global. And then there's uh, varieties of this species that are a little more local. So I'm going to click on that and see what it has to say about this greater prairie chicken, uh, the Tympanicus cupido. And it's not, it, we don't have the outwater. And what we see is in this case, it's near threatened. It's on the least concerned. It's at this end of the spectrum. So it's not one we're really worried about. It's more this Atwater one is endangered. But but these um, this particular variety or this particular species that's not um, the Atwater eye species is not one we need to work, you know, not one that's work we worry about. And so the Atwater one is not here. They don't have everything here. So you'll have to focus on just the list, um, just the information you got from the US Fish and Wildlife Service, okay? Or you can also see if there's more information just on the net. But I do want you to start at ECOS or uh, at the red list. Now, let's say you're really interested, like I am in whales, and you want to know what whales are endangered or critically endangered. Now, as I said, I'm going to take the um, Northern Atlantic right whale. So that's already taken. But we can look at some other whales. And uh, they are in the cetacean uh, family. And uh, dolphins are cetaceans too. But we can see that their LC means least concern, so we're not so worried about that. But we are worried about Hector's dolphin. They are on the endangered list. We have more results. Uh, we can look here. And LC means least concerned. We have endangered the Tuckuxi. And we could look at what that is. It's decreasing um, the Irrawaddy dolphin, the Indo-Pacific. Uh, sorry, the Sayola. Uh, so let's take a look at the Sayola and see where that is. It's decreasing. It's on the critical list. And so let's see what we can learn about Sayola. Ah, Sayola, this is really interesting. So you know how I put in the whales. Uh, uh, well, whales are cetaceans. And actually, some of these hooved animals are cetaceans too, because whales came from hooved animals. They evolved from hooved animals millions of years ago, so they're actually related. Um, but this Sayola, if you're interested in learning, just you're interested in learning about something new, well, um, so this is in, looks like it's near Vietnam, Laos. There's Laos and there's Vietnam. And uh, there's Thailand. Its habitat is forest. And uh, so the threats are that agriculture and aquaculture are basically probably taking down the forest and replacing it with agriculture. 
Also, there's energy production. So they're taking down the forest for energy production. Uh, so all of these reasons are reasons that this particular animal is under threat. So if you're interested in learning about a strange new animal that's in a place that you've probably never even heard of, you might have heard of Vietnam because that's where the Vietnam War was, but um, you can certainly pick something like that. Or you can go back and you say, no, I'm really just really interested in uh, like a dolphin or whale. What can I learn? You know, what, what dolphin or whale uh, can I find that is so that is threatened or endangered. And we can look through the list. Um, and remember, these are animalia, mammalia, so mammals, that means mammals. Uh, the blue whale, now this is interesting, the blue whale is endangered, but it's increasing in numbers. So I wonder what they're doing to help increase. I wonder what. Uh, how it's being protected so it's starting to increase in numbers. So we can look at the blue whale. It is endangered. There are 5,000 to 15,000 mature individuals, which is not much when you talk about the whole world, right? Its habitat is marine oceanic. You see here, you can click on population in detail, click on habitat and ecology in detail, you see the threats, biological resource use, fishing and harvesting, aquatic resources, climate change and severe weather is shifting its habitat and altering its habitat. All right, so, and then you can read about threats in detail. All right, and so this whole page now, everything is gonna lead you to more and more uh, information here and now, uh, and then it talks about the main threat to blue whales in the past was direct exploitation, meaning they were being killed for meat and for uh, oil um, on a regular basis in the modern era using deck mounted harpoon cannons. Modern blue whale hunting started in the North Atlantic in 1868 and spread to other regions. So you can read all about why. Um, why it declined and what happened to it and then why it was listed all right so this is where you'd find information about it now if you want to find we found its common name is blue whale uh but here we find that it's um it's in the baleen so it's a baleen whale which is means that they have like a netting for the mouth and they're just taking in really, really small copepods, uh, taxonomy in detail, and you can find um, what its name, it's, there's a Baleenoptera musculus, okay? It's right there is its scientific name. Okay, so from there, you get your first bit of information that you're gonna put in your slideshow. And then you can start searching for blue whale in other sources. Uh, I'm okay with you using Wikipedia. It is a crowdsourced uh, information. And um, you can, you know, just make sure, you wanna make sure that any uh, resource that you use is a, um, is a good resource and not created by like another student, okay? So, uh, and there's always gonna be links on these pages to help you learn a little bit more. All right, so that's how you use the Red List, the IUCN Red List, uh, and how you can search for things just generally. And you might wanna always leave off the S as we learned in the other resource, you just want to use, just put whale, and then you'll start um, getting a bunch of different things that may come up. Okay. All right.